The American diet is one that predisposes us towards higher risk of colon cancer. And so if you live in America, you should be screened. The great part about colon cancer is that if it's screened and found early, it's very treatable. If you find it before it goes through the wall of the colon, the cure rate's in the 95% rate, uh, like really good. And if you find it when there's positive nodes, you're in the 60s or 70s percent cure rate. If it's not screened for and found late, it kills you. When you're 50 years old, what we should be doing is screening should be done with virtual colonoscopy. To have a optical colonoscopy, you need to prep for at least two days, usually three days. It's a very nasty prep. And then you have to be sedated in most cases to do it. And they put a tube, which is about as big as your thumb, through your rectum, and then they have to run it all the way around. And in most people, that's about three feet that they have to run the tube around. And you can have a seat. The great thing about virtual colonoscopy as opposed to optical colonoscopy is that it's a one-day prep, so the prep is much easier. You don't have to be sedated. You come in and you have a small tube about the size of a pencil or less put in. They blow your colon up full of air. You lay down on the table. They go zoop, and it takes essentially about that long. You flip over. They do it again, and you're done. They pull the tube out, you go to the bathroom, and you go back to work. There's no question about it that it's vastly less traumatic. It's a five-minute deal, and it's not pleasant, but you know, it's still, it's five minutes, so you know, anybody can do that. If you have risk factors, if you have family history of colon cancer, you know, if you have history of polyps, then you can't do virtual, because you have risk factors, you need to go to optical. But if you don't have risk factors, when you're 50, you should have a virtual. There's no question about it.